are all cultural beings. An individual's culture is reflected in many ways and affects his or her self-identification, how he or she approaches work, and even relationships with others. Culture is also an important factor in an individual's academic and career development, including in the biomedical sciences. On one hand, cultural diversity can help bring new insights to the biomedical sciences and lead to research that can impact diverse communities. On the other hand, some dynamics, like implicit bias and stereotype threat, can hinder the success of underrepresented young scholars in the biomedical sciences. Despite decades of national effort, many racial and ethnic groups are still underrepresented in the biomedical field and many other science disciplines. For example, there is a gap in the number of minorities receiving funding from the NIH. While the full sample of scientists from 2000 to 2006 had a 28% probability of being awarded NIH funding, white scientists had a 29% award probability, Hispanic scientists had a 28% award probability, Asian scientists had a 26% award probability, and African American scientists had only a 16% award probability. An NSF study in 2010 reported that among biology students who were awarded a PhD, 69% were white, 6% were Hispanic, 12% were Asian, 4% were African American, and 9% were Native American or unreported. The underrepresentation of some racial and ethnic groups is similarly evident in the professoriate. An NSF study in 2013 reported that among science and engineering faculty at universities across the country, 76% were white, 4% were Hispanic, 13% were Asian, 4% were African American, and 3% were Native American or unreported. The population of underrepresented minorities at U.S. universities has not kept pace with overall population growth. In addition, opportunities for advancement for this population are not increasing, since many institutions are prone to maintaining the status quo. And the research mentoring landscape is uneven across racial and ethnic groups. One national study of over 6,500 professors found tremendous faculty bias. For example, requests for mentorship by African American, Hispanic, and Asian students were more ignored than those by white and male students. One important NIH initiative designed to reverse the unevenness of the mentoring landscape in the biomedical research field is the National Research Mentoring Network. The National Research Mentoring Network is a consortium of professional organizations, scientific groups, and universities with the goal of enhancing the cultural diversity of the NIH-funded research workforce. NRMN's program models emphasize the benefits and challenges of cultural diversity and inclusivity within research mentoring relationships. NRMN asserts that intentional engagement with issues of cultural diversity and research mentoring relationships is necessary to promote successful career advancement for individual scholars and systemic change throughout the research. Evidence-based interventions that are theoretically informed are the foundation of a menu of NRMN-sponsored programmatic initiatives. These initiatives are designed to create positive and effective opportunities for mentors and mentees in the biomedical field. Things like maybe he could have said it in his head, but not saying that out loud. One such initiative is a new six-hour training module titled Culturally Aware Mentoring, which helps participants identify personal assumptions, biases, and privileges that may operate in their research mentoring relationships. Enhancing mentors' recognition of their own culture and internal cultural influences is the first step in developing their cultural awareness. Culturally aware mentoring must address the sometimes uncomfortable dynamics created by racism, privilege, and unconscious biases. You know, being first woman or, or Native American in general, she could... Working through the dynamics of talking about uncomfortable topics like prejudices, class, microaggressions, and others is not a simple process, but it can lead to remarkable results for both the mentee and the mentor. Well-trained mentors can also help their mentees overcome barriers by encouraging them to seek resources they might otherwise be hesitant to pursue. A recent article in the Chronicle points to a self-imposed gap in funding caused by young scientists simply not applying as often as their older counterparts. 
the Genther study in the August 2011 signs reported that small differences in access to research resources and mentoring during training or at the beginning of a career may accumulate to become large between group differences. Culturally aware mentoring can help young scientists avoid falling behind their colleagues. The biomedical research field needs to capitalize on the full range of individuals from culturally diverse backgrounds in order to address the health challenges facing the United States. Culturally aware mentoring can help change the face of the biomedical workforce by more effectively engaging individuals from culturally diverse backgrounds. Through NRMN, we are facing the challenges and opportunities of cultural diversity in research mentoring relationships in order to change the troubling trends of underrepresentation in science. Help us make a difference in research mentoring that works for everyone. Sign up, log in, and join the important work of NRMN. <laughs> <laughs>